Okay, so uh, I am selling my Reinhardt amp. It's a Reinhardt MI6. I've had it since 2012. It was built by Bob Reinhardt, and then the Tolex was done by his wife, Sue. Uh, probably built in 2010, 2011, somewhere in there. The serial number is 136, I believe. Um, he said there was about 75 of these made. Uh, so this is 18 watt, like the Marshall 1974X, except it has more gain on tap. And then the second channel, instead of having a tremolo, has the treble mid bass, along with a master volume and gain control. Um, then you have your normal channel, your tone and volume, and you can jumper the channels together. They are in phase with one another, where I think on the 1974 they're not. Um, and then this amp has power scaling, so you can crank, um, and crank it and really get nice tube sounds. At low volume so I'll do that in this video to just kind of give you an idea of the gain range I've got lots of videos on my channel covering uh, this amp at full tilt uh, with no power scaling like the warehouse videos uh, and then where it's set up clean running pedals in as a pedal platform and today I'm just gonna plug straight in and show you uh, with the power scaling what this sounds like with a Les Paul all right here we go Okay, so I've pulled the uh, the chassis out uh, just to kind of show you the things that were upside down otherwise. you got your vintage modern switch, uh, which tightens up the low end. Uh, I believe it changes the cathode follower and mainly affects the um, the treble mid-bass channel. Got your speaker jacks and your impedance selector. But one really cool thing is that this will run at 120, 220, or 240. Uh, and just float the switch and make sure you have the right cable. Um, got JJ tubes, and I believe these two are Softec. Uh, no, one of them is Softec. So the outer two are JJ, and then the GZ34 is a tube amp doctor. And um, yeah, so that's that's the chassis, and I'll uh, bring up the, the speaker and stuff. Okay, and then for the speaker, we've got the warehouse guitar, the RG5HLC. I'm sorry, R65 HLC, uh, 65 watt, 8 ohm, 12 inch. Uh, it's the original uh, speaker that came in this cabinet, obviously. Uh, another thing I've done is for the the power cable, I just put a, some a strip of Velcro on the back right here, so that you can Velcro this end of the power cable in there, uh, just so it's not flopping around when you're transporting it. Um, and it makes it a lot easier to get plugged in quickly. Okay, I see you in the mirror. I powered on the amp, power scaling is out of the equation, it's all the way up. Um, I'm plugged in the uh, volume tone channel and the high input. Tone is on eight, so three quarters of the way up. And uh, volume is all the way off. There's no weird hums or buzzes from the amp. Uh, so I'm gonna turn volume up to about two. It's really clean. Um, really nice clean tone. Okay, um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the power scaling all the way down. And then I'm going to turn the volume on this channel up to seven. Um, it's got a really good rock crunch at that point, and it's quiet. Um, so I mean, this amp is on seven, and it sounds like this. <laughs> it sounds like this. Again, I'm sure you can hear the strings more than the amp. And so for home playing, if you just really want to. It's that classic rock sound, um, but really quiet. And again, that's the power scaling all the way down. If you start bringing the power scaling up, it gets loud really quick. And so there's a lot of volume on tap here uh, if you need it. And so 
I'm gonna go ahead and turn that channel all the way up to 10, just so you can hear, uh, it doesn't get much louder, it just gets more saturated. <laughs> while I'm playing. So anyway, that's uh, the, the normal channel. Um, and it's got a lot of gain on tap, um, especially if you're talking about vintage. Um, the Trouble Mid Bass channel uh, let me turn the scaling back up. So this is, um, I've got the uh, the gain on 5 and the volume on around 1. With the power scaling is all the way up to 10, uh, not engaged. That's what we consider that Marshall Clean where there's just a little bit of grit on it. on tap and that let me turn the power scaling all the way down and just crank the gain turn the turning the volume up to heck I could turn up all the way. It's not a sound that we need. modern switch on modern let's see is that on this side let me swap that to vintage so there's more low end and it's a little woolier sounding also less gain overall modern, tighter low end, a little more gain. Um, we're not talking hair metal here. Um, so yeah, nice and quiet. Okay, so I hope that helps uh, anybody who's interested in the amp. Uh, I'm asking 1900 and that's a cash price or a PayPal gift price. Um, shipping and PayPal, or regular PayPal is just on top of that. Um, it is, like I said, on the gear page and it's on Reverb.com uh, if you would rather buy it through one of those things. Uh, you can send me a message on YouTube or on the gear page. Uh, I think on the gear page I'm Mr. Woody. And on Reverb uh, it's Crownwood Guitars. So um, yeah, if you have any questions just let me know. And again, hope that helps somebody. Thanks, have a great day.